Hey everyone, I'm Mari Ray and welcome to No Man's Sky. This is a game that I was actually kind of curious about when it was like first around or first announced, but I never actually pulled the trigger and checked it out because I heard it had gotten like mixed reviews. So I was sort of like, you know, not as like eager to check it out as well. And I ended up never actually doing it, but long-term supporter of the channel, Carnage Daddy, shout out to Carnage. Thank you so much. He sent me a uh, code to download this game and check it out because he said it sounds like my type of game, which from his description, it very much does. Kind of sandboxy, flea roam, flea roam? What's a flea roam? Free roam exploration game. I can't speak. This is after work and I just drank a cup of coffee. It's probably the worst time to start trying to speak in a like coherent pattern, but we're doing this anyway. So I'm gonna jump in. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into right now. Um, and I just scared myself with my headphones, but that's another story. Let's jump on in. I'm gonna start with just a game on my own. Other explorers may join your session. Oh, really? Okay, well, let's try this. Okay, we got some options here. Normal, an infinite journey, explore and survive in the boundless universe. We have relaxed, a streamlined experience, fewer systems to manage and lower costs. And then you have creative. Uh, I wanna say, oh wait, oh no, there's even more over here. So you have normal, relaxed, creative, the survival, a survival challenge, more hazards, smaller inventory. Then you have like a custom setup and then community expeditions. I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm tempted to maybe go relaxed first before I jump into normal because I have no clue what I'm getting into and an infinite journey of not knowing what I'm gonna do sounds intense, but I'm gonna go with it anyway. We're gonna do normal. <laughs> Okay, weather is crisp, sentinels are regular patrols and rich. Okay, I like that it's third person. First person actually makes me dizzy quite a lot, uh, which is a thing. I do think I'm going to freeze to death. How, I don't know what to do about that. How do I, how do I fix that? Am I doomed to die in the very first few seconds of starting gameplay? I might be, I don't know how to. Oh, okay, I just can't be outside. All right, as long as I'm like indoors. So if this is a randomly generated start, I just have a really bad one. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, obviously you just start clicking stuff and blowing up the, the, the local fauna. This is the way you, this is the way we do things. I'm just gonna start blowing everything up. Am I actually getting any materials here? New item recorded in the catalog, Cobalt. Okay, so I am getting some actual stuff here. How do I check my inventory? I? Nope. E? Nope. I have no idea what to do or how to check anything. Oh, I should probably read the bottom there. Use the scanner to locate resources. Select the scanner repair mission in the log. So, okay, we got missions. Uh, log? Awakenings. Find us. Hear us. I find myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here. No sense of a before. My exosuit, at least, seems to know what it is doing. And I am not dead. Yet. Alright, so objectives test and repair the multi-tool system. The multi-tool is a critical piece of survival equipment. Use the scanner to locate nearby resources for life support and hazardous protection systems. Alright, how do I check this? Do I- Oh! Oh no, well, that was a mistake. How do I, how do I make it active? How do I, oh, this, secondary missions? Repair the scanner? Repair the damaged multi-tool scanner. If I am to locate the resources I need to fix my ship, I need to first repair the scanner component of my multi-tool. Repair the scanner damage. Uh, use the ferrite dust to repair the scanner. Gather metals from the material deposits using clicking. I figured that out. I mean, the first thing I'm going to start doing is clicking everything and probably blowing stuff up to fire the mining beam at uh, nearby minerals and use systems are repaired from the inventory tab. Alrighty. Can I not check that though? Oh. Exosuit guidance alert? Scanner status critical damage. Recommended repair scanner to locate survival resources. Okay, so test the scanner, gather... Oh, okay, so this is my thing. So test the scanner. All right, so we're, we're gathering ferrite dust. Have no idea where to get that. Oh, wait, <laughs> right here. <laughs> I can't do it though. Advanced mining laser required. Well, how do I do that? That seems like it's something that I can't do yet. 
ferrite dust? Oh, snap. I think I found it. Just looking at random things on the ground. All right, we got 10 out of 75. We just, just laser beam everything you see. It sounds like a good solution to, oh, what's that? Oh, hazardous flora. Well, when things are squishy and uh, green and blowing out puffs of green, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna avoid those. Nice. All right, so we got it. Uh, scanner status critical damage. Recommended to repair the scanner to locate survival resources. So repair the scanner damage. How do I do that? Repair the scanner. Oh, and tab. I guess I should listen to what it says to do, right? Uh, repair the scanner. Use tab to access the multi-tool inventory and repair the equipment with plus. Or not plus, the click button. The damage scanner. Nice. I feel smart already. Scan to locate sodium. Where is it? Hello? I need some sodium in my diet. Ooh, oh wait, up here? That collects sodium. Alrighty, well, let's go get some salt. Alright, here we go. Salt plants. Why are they holographic? Should I be concerned about that? Oh, I guess I can't zap these? Well, that's no fun. Okay, so recharged hazardous protection. How do I do that? Recharge hazardous protection with sodium. Recharge with the quick menu X or in the inventory tab. The current uh, protection level is 74. So we either do X. Oh, snap. Is that how you do it? Recharge equipment. Sodium? Oh, okay. Well, I guess that protects me from uh, from the cold here. Automatic distress signal. Can I take more of this just in case? This stuff like protects me from the cold. Apparently salt is a protectant from the cold. So that's fun. Reach the marked signal. Exosuit detected automated signal boost. Broadcast. I found the moon landing. Is there anybody here? Or is this like my ship? I honestly have no clue. Apparently I've been stranded here and I don't know who I am though, so might very well just be uh, the result of my own incompetence, which doesn't surprise me. Uh, iteration what the frick? Okay. Hello? Scenario. Iteration all those numbers deleted. Boundary separation failure likely. Vessel 16 emptied. Cause sentinel intervention. Deliberate transfer. Analysis. Fresh iteration generated. Anomaly containment prepared. Broadcast or leave? Broadcast what? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I broadcast it? Uh-oh. Broadcast received. Traveler anomaly detected. Did I just... What did I do? What did I broadcast? Anomaly is compliant. Position logged. System integrity scan initialized. I don't know what I just did. Initialization in progress. Investigate the crashed ship. Okay, well, I I just sent out a signal to the aliens. The mothership's coming back for me, so we should be okay. Damaged machinery. Repair damaged components. So is this telling me what I need? Residual goop? Uh, a pulsating, foul-smelling goop that builds up in the poorly maintained machinery. Skin contact is not advised. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, um, let's, let's not touch that then. I don't, that, I don't even like, that just sounds disturbed. I don't, mm, mm we're not gonna do that. What's this up here? Can I get in this thing? Am I stupid? I might be stupid. Hello? Oh, okay. Iteration, a bunch of numbers plus the letter G. Online. Uh, what? Oops. Atlas connection, inter inter intermittent. Launch thrusters, offline. Pulse engine, offline. I find myself alone in a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of before. Wait, didn't I read this already? But this ship at least seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least that of my exosuit. I'm not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. 
All right, let's read the log. It's, this is my ship. It is due to my own incompetence. I kind of figured that one out. Unavailable. The log is unavailable. Subsi subs Jesus, man, I can't read. Substituting data. <laughs> Exosuit. Connected. Suggestion. Pilot should perform maintenance. Select desire. Repair path. Okay. Self-guided repair protocols initiated. A pulse engine. It provides space and atmospheric flight propulsion. System is highly damaged and requires metal plating and the hemertic him, 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 you, you can't give me words, <laughs> okay? It's too it's too late in the day for words. It's only 4.30. It's fine. I, I'll get over it to repair. This technology is critically damaged. So I need a hema, hermetic? Hermetic? Hermetic. Hermetic. Hermetic, I can read. Hermetic seal and a metal plating. <laughs> Oh man, reading is hard. Reading is hard. Uh, launch thrusters are critically damaged. Okay. So I need to repair the ship. Uh, recommendation is repair the ship engines. Repairing the starship requires a mix of crafted products, salvaged items, and advanced refined substances. So we first need to repair the pulse engine metal plating. All right. So, so the ferrite dust, and then craft metal plating to repair the pulse engine, and use the ferrite dust to craft the metal plating. I got all the ferrite dust that I need, so I need to use the tab to access my inventory, and uh, craft some stuff. This, oh, jeez, man, why do I keep clicking the wrong buttons here? So, how do I craft it? I need to craft an empty slot. So I use the plus to craft an empty slot. So I'm clicking there. Do I, do I do it up here? I was under the wrong tab. I figured it out. I figured it out. I had to go under the exosuit. How come I couldn't do it from the starship tab? Like, it seems like I should be able to, but I can't. So, whatever, we'll go under the exosuit and I need to make a metal plate. Repair the pulse engine. Return to the starship and conduct repairs. Can do. All right, so back in the ship. Starship restoration sequence initialized. Patch metal plating on the pulse engine in the starship inventory. Okay, so now I need to go to the starship tab and I can do the dooley dally. All right, so let's do this. Okay, so the pulse engine has been fixed. Iteration, all those numbers followed by the letter G. Functional. Look at that. We are starship experts. Uh, I can literally do rocket science at this point. Starship critical damage of uh, vital ingredients missing. Unable to synthesize required components. Pulse engine requires this freaking word, man. This freaking word. Hermetic seal. <laughs> Request assistance. Recommendation. Iteration. Comparison. Re reveals. Hip oh my god. Hermetic seal nearby. Salvage planetary chart from distress beacon cash okay so starship repair gather materials search the crash site for supplies okay all right so we need to repair the hermetic hermetic this word this word will haunt me until i'm done with this game peer inside the beacon's housing as well as the distress broadcast unit it contains a planetary chart All right, so I got the planetary chart, find buildings. So the planetary chart recovered, open the inventory tab to view the data, highlight the chart and use the E to plot a rotate, a route, jeez, man. It's so hard. Select the map and use plot route E to pin, to pin the location in your exosuit display. Okay, so I have the map selected and I, I do E? Okay. Okay, so, had to take a short break there, about an hour or so, feed my dog, feed myself, so that I could uh, be all charged up so that we can continue on with our little adventure. Alrighty, so, the plan is to uh, go hit the coordinates. Hopefully this thing saves this location or I will never be able to find my way back here, man. I promise you, I get lost so easily. I have a terrible sense of direction. It is so bad. Um, 
Is it like in this cave system though? Because I feel like this is pointing me underground. I'm gonna run this way though. And uh, I hope. Moments later. Warning. Incoming storm. Oh, a blizzard. Well, that sounds dangerous. Um, unidentified plant. Cob and. Should I be- I should be probably more concerned about the fact that there is a, in fact, blizzard coming. I think that th that should probably scare me more than what it is. Yeah, I might freeze to death is, uh, the basic gist of this. Especially if there's no place to, uh, hide around here. Um, ooh, what's this thing? Is it a tiny hippo butt? Oh, hi, baby hippo. Oh, no, it's not a hippo. What is- what is this thing? Oh my word. Okay, well, I am going to die. It's low visibility, and my health- er, or my thermal protection is dropping quite severely. Should I have turned around? I- I maybe should have turned around. Seek shelter in caves or buildings. And charge my hazardous stuff with, the. Uh, I- I need to do that. I keep forgetting. I need to do that. Charge it. Come on. All right, yeah. All right, we, we gotta find some shelter. We gotta find some shelter here really fast. I understand that my thermal protection is in fact falling, but I think we finally made it to our destination or at least close enough. Hopefully there is a place to uh, hide in there or have some type of shelter. If I can't find a cave or something, we might be in some serious trouble. Just, uh, just, just casual trouble. Ooh, okay. This is like a full-on, like, building or something. Let's get inside. Oh, so now the storm goes away. Are you serious? Really? The storm clears now? When I find, like, shelter? Now the storm goes away, game? How pleasant of you, jerks. Yeah, I know, because now I'm indoors, because why would this game not give me blizzard weather when I'm out? Sorry if you can hear my dog, she has a bone, by the way. All right, hollow archive, let's see what this is. Uh, accessing archive. Six out of seven logs corrupt. <laughs> well, that's nice. Entry, all those numbers A follows. Uh, no one makes this record in case leaving behind in fabrication might be some kind of Visor damage. Can't find chip. Is this me? Am I listening to myself? The log finishes and the machine whirs to life, spitting out supplies. I have a oh, this freaking word, man! The hermetic seal. I need to repair my ship. Whoever it was that led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they found something in the same situation as I do now. Okay, so I think I have what I need from this place technically, but let's take a look around and see. Research specimen? Hireling Mari Ray impressed your first geck? What's a geck? What does that mean? What have I done? Uh, I can restore the shield? What does that mean? Exosuit notice shield at maximum. Okay, well, that's good. Let me go back outside, since I'm sure there'll be another blizzard as I start to head back towards the, uh, the ship that I was in. Uh, but, okay, wait, use Analysis Visor F to locate the starship. Analysis Visor requires installation. The Analysis Visor is a planetary exploration device that locates and highlights nearby points of interest. It can also be used to analyze flora, fauna, and min minerals, analyzing results in a commercially valuable data as well as revealing additional resources. Uh, cool. So I need carbon nanotubes? That's fun. So begin Analysis Visor installation. Okay, so let me just hold on because I'm standing out in the cold like a freaking doof. So let me just go stand not in the cold. And, uh, look at this visor. Can we- can we be out of the cold now? Am I officially out of the cold? I think I am. Alright, so open the inventory, and let's take a look at this here visor. Uh, analysis- ins to install the analysis visor, select the equipment multi-tool slot with that, and then we need- okay, so we're in the multi-tool, and visor. Alright, so anal analysis visor part. Analysis visor subcomponents. 
uh, uninstalled. Insert every subcomponent to finalize the installation. Complete the subcomponent with one carbon nanotube. Use to pin the detailed installation instructions to your mission log. Include information. Okay. So I need to I need to get the okay, gather carbon and carbon nanotubes. Okay, so where do I get those? Can't I like scan for stuff like with this? There you go. Oof. Stupid toxins. Of course this cave is cursed like all the other ones I've been in. New item recorded. Oxygen. New guide entry unlock. Life support. Alright, well that sounds important. So let's gather some of these. Can I hit this tree and get carbon? I can. Give me all of your carbon tree. Just a little bit of casual deforestation and general environmental damage. Wouldn't be human if we didn't. Am I human? Honestly, I have on the suit, so who's to say I actually am? But we need to craft a nanotube. So if I'm not mistaken, I should be able to do that uh, through here. Nice. So then finalize the installation. So tab, multi-tool. We go in here and we click there. And we should have our stuff installed. Analyze objects for rewards. Uh, how do I do that? Okay, so test the analysis visor. The analysis visor highlights points of interest in, and analyzes flora, fauna, minerals. So, so I hit F. Ooh, what's this thing? This thing looks horrifying. How do I do it? Target objects. Oh, then you hold this down. What is that, though? It's a Jackie Pone? Biological entity, it's mature, it's exotic. It... more... more dried roots is what it eats. So it's not a carnivore. That's good to know. Uh, so I need to return to the airship now. Hello, ship. I'm back. Yeah, thermal protection is does not need it because I got this. So let's repair the pulse engine. So we go to tab, we go to starship, we go here, and I got the hemallergic spike or the her her hermetic seal. <laughs> I knew it, I knew what I was looking for. I am a rocket scientist, so check it out. We did it. A launch thruster. So vital launch and landing gear system. System is highly damaged and requires dihydrogen gel. See, I knew I was collecting dihydrogen for a reason. I didn't know what it was for, but I found it in a bunch of boxes and I kept grabbing it on the way over. So how do I do that? I need to construct a portable refiner to process pure ferrite. Ferret. Ferrite. I cannot pronounce actual biological names of stuff. This technology is critically damaged, so we need to um, okay, so we did that. So repair the launch thrusters with dihydrogen jelly. So we need to collect dihydrogen. See, we already got 24 out of the 40. We're making early progress, guys. I I'm, I knew what was coming. I'm, I'm smart. <laughs> okay, so the exosuit guidance alerts. Repair status. Advanced materials required. Recommended deploy portable refiner. Refiners transform simple materials. Refined materials hold more charge. And advanced technologies require refined materials. So... All right, collecting dihydrogen is the first step, though. So let's go back out into the wild here and try to find... And do I... Will I always have the ship on... Okay, I think now I have a waypoint for my ship, which makes me a little more confident uh, to run around like an absolute maniac because... That's exactly what's about to happen. Hold on, I can like scan this stuff and see what other minerals are from it, right? Sodium. Okay, so now that I know I can get sodium from this, do I? Maybe I need like a more advanced type of, uh... oh no, no, there it goes. I get sodium now, at least sometimes. One eternity later. Okay, so let's go ahead and just rub some nice jelly all over our, our thrusters. How do I do that? Uh, under the starship, yeah? How, and, and in here? And we just need to rub just a little bit of jelly all over our thrusters. Our thrusters are gelled and ready for launch. I pushed that button way too many times. Repair the launch thrusters with pure 
ferrite. Uh, okay, so construct a portable refiner, craft metal plating, and then use the tab to access your inventory. Okay, can't I do that? I feel like I should have enough materials to make to make the metal plate. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So then, advanced materials require pure ferrite. Deploy the portable refiner. Access the build menu with Z. Why do I keep hitting escape that many times? Like, for some reason, I need to hit escape so many times. So, okay, so I want to build a portable refiner. All right, so it's similar to kind of like the Subnautica fill when I want to craft something. I'm just going to plop this down. I don't know if it matters. So let's just pop this guy here. New guide entry, portable technology. Press escape to read more. I'll do that later. Okay, so the portable refiner. Oh, I can pick it up. Oh, I need to fuel supply. Of course it does. There's more steps that we have to do. Advanced materials, pure refiner, fuel the portable refinery. So how do I do that? Carbon or condensed carbon. <laughs> I just so happen to have picked up like a thousand units, a gajillion units of condensed carbon. So let's just give it a little bit of that. Advanced materials required pure ferrite. So gather ferrite dust from small rocks. And I only have one, so of course. And then we can transform that into the portable refinery. So, okay, so let's go grab some of that stuff. I think there's plenty of rocks around here, so we, we likely shouldn't have to go too far. Okay, so I've gotten all the stuff that I think I need. So we go in here, and I should be able to input our ferrite dust, right? And then we should be able to output pure ferrite. How do I... Okay, begin. Oh, jeez, do I need this many? How many do I need? Oh, I need 50. Okay. Well, I might need to make some more of that dust then. Am I good? All right. I'm good. I'm good, right? I'm good. Okay. So, advanced materials collected. I thought I just... Didn't I not just make it? Oh, I need to take it? Put it in my exosuit? Okay. So then, now that we've got that, we can repair the launch thrusters. So let's get in the ship. I don't know if I have to get in the ship to do this, but I'm going to be in the ship to do this. So let's go back in here and then... Boom. Yes, our technology is repaired. A starship is repaired. The launch systems are online. Exit the ship and collect the portable refinery. Yes, um, computer. I shall. Oh, whoops. Uh, wrong button. How do I pick it up? Oh, the middle button. The middle button picks it up. Gotcha! Oh, it just, like, deconstructs it. So then if I want to put it back down, I have to, like, so- Okay, so it's not actually portable? Or is it? I mean, it says I have one out of one, so maybe it, like, stores that elsewhere. Jeez, man, with the freaking escape button. I don't know why my brain says push escape, but all systems are functional, and I can return to my ship. Let me get inside. Ooh, look at that. All systems are functional. Seek answers among the stars. And I can take off. But I'm going to leave this episode here for where we are with No Man's Sky. This was fun. I enjoyed running around here. I kind of like just sort of free roam kind of exploration type things. They're fun. Haven't obviously gotten the complete hang of things yet. There's a, looks like there's a lot to grasp, a lot to craft, a lot of materials together. And I haven't even dove into like base building yet, which is one of my favorite things in these type of games. So I'll definitely be playing some more of this, maybe a little bit on my own and maybe a bit more here on the channel. So I do want to say thanks again to Carnage for gifting me this game. It looks like something that I can spend some time goofing off in and just having some fun even on the side, just because it's a nice, fresh thing to play. I appreciate it. And I definitely am going to be coming back to this. So I'm going to leave this one here for now. And uh, if people like this, maybe we'll see more. If not, I'll probably just play it on my own. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a like or don't. That's up to you. But I do hope that you'll come back and join me for more No Man's Sky if we play it more here on the channel. Thanks all. Bye bye.